Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we are down in Merritt Island, Florida, Cape Canaveral area, NASA area. And what I'm doing here today is we're going to put in a battery backup pump and we're going to replace the existing pump with a new Zoller M98 so it pushes even more water. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the old pump out. Let's take a look. So about uh, a year and a half ago, we came out, we installed a system here, and what it's doing is it's picking up all these drains from the backyard. You can see drains all over the place because this area is confined and water really builds up back here. Floods needed a way to get it out to the street. So we installed a, a smaller Zoller M53, which works great, um, but the M98 does take out a whole lot more water. What we're going to do is take this all apart. We're going to put in the new Zoller M98, which is right there, and then we're going to put in what she's bought. is a It's called Pump Spy. Um, not really sure exactly how that works yet, but we'll figure that out. But it's a battery backup, a small pump. It only pumps maybe 1,100 gallons an hour, which is not very much considering you know we get tons of water um, during a big rain. But let's go ahead and start by taking this apart, and we'll show you how we do that. We're going to take the no hubs off here this is the check valve and we'll pull the old pump we'll probably have to cut some of these pipes off to adapt to the new system okay so first thing I'll do is loosen this no hub um, this is just a band make that nice and loose let that drop <clears throat> this is the check valve so there could be water behind this check valve check valves only allow water to flow one direction so there should be water in this line but let's pull this apart. I might need two hands, so hold on one second. Okay, so I pulled it apart. A little bit of water came out. Now we're just going to pull the old pump up and out. Again, this was a nice Zoller M53, and it works great, but we're going to put a faster pump in here. <laughs> we could use the existing check valve, and we might, but um, right now I'm going to go ahead and set up the M98, which is a half horsepower pump. We'll get that started. Okay, so we're setting up this Pump Spy pump, and you could look at the box. This, I think she ordered this online, but um, what we want to know is you can see these numbers right here. This is backup performance, 15 foot lift. This is how far you're lifting up, and it says it pushes 1600 gallons an hour. Um, we're pushing it about 150 feet with about a five foot lift. So it's probably going to be somewhere down around 800 gallons per hour. Um, it's still, you know, it runs on the battery. It does help. Um, it sets up the same way as the 98, the M98. It did not have a male threaded engine and a half adapter. I had to put that on there. Um, next, we're going to put it onto the Zoller M98. You've seen me set these up many times. We take the inch and a half male threaded inch and a half adapter. It screws into the port. You put it on there as tight as you can with your hand. You could put a wrench on it, but I wouldn't recommend it. <clears throat> okay, so we've got those two set up. Next, I'm going to set them down into the pit to see how they line up because they have to fit in the pit and we also have to make a connection. Um, somehow, this pump has to come up and tie into the discharge of the main pump. They did include, which is pretty cool looking, but I don't know if it'll fit. <laughs> they did include this little Y. So basically, these pumps would sit together and come together this way. You can see there's some pieces that we're going to need to add. We're also going to be have to put a check valve on here somewhere to keep this water from you know coming back down the line. So a little bit of plumbing, a little bit of work to put it all together, but it shouldn't be that hard to do. Okay, so figured this out. What we're going to have to do is because we need a check valve and the from that fitting up to the discharge pipe. The check valve is huge, and they did supply a check valve, but it's still, the Zoller M98 is a very tall pump, and that will not fit even to here. What, these are designed to come up and out through the lid in a basement. So there would be a pipe coming up, you know, going up through the basement, uh, through the side wall, but we're adapting it to an outdoor pit. So what we're gonna do is I already made the cut, right here we'll pull this pipe out maybe 
and then we're going to plumb a new discharge from here it'll come out and go through we're also going to cut another hole right here for the little pump spy whatever it's called um, the battery backup and it's going to come out we'll use their Y connection over here and we'll just bring everything together but we do need two check valves we need a check valve on this one and we need a check valve I already put it on that one um, You've got to have check valves or else that water is just going to keep coming back. It would definitely go in a circle with two pumps and it wouldn't get out. So, again, a little bit of modification, but it can be done. Okay, so I went ahead and drilled another hole. This hole or this hole is going to be for the battery backup pump. It is an inch and a half discharge, just like the Zoller M98. It comes up and they're going to come through these holes. We're going to use this particular look and why. You can see it here, and we'll make that connection. Everything's going to plumb through into the pit. You can see the holes lining up there, and we'll ho hook it all up, and we'll be done. Okay, so we're setting up the Zoller M98. And guys, I'm trying a new glue here. It's from Oatly, I like Oatly products. This has single steps, so in other words, it's a clear self-priming medium PVC cement. It means it already has primer mixed in. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and glue a small riser. Notice that I did drill a 3 16 inch hole. We're gonna glue that down into the base. Good amount of glue, push and hold. There we go, nice, should be set. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our check valve. Remember that what the check valves are doing, they're only allowing water to flow one direction. So as the pump pushes the water up, it cannot come back down into the pit. We'll put that on. And then using our handy dandy Black & Decker, everybody likes to make fun of my drill, I don't know why, but <laughs> it's a 5 16 cents nut driver. And it's, these are no hub clamps. And real simple, you just tighten them up. Tight as your drill can make it. I've already tightened up these two drill, these two pieces. So that's the setup of the pump. Remember that make sure your arrows are pointing in the upwards direction. This pump's ready to set down, then we'll plumb the final portion from that top piece. It'll come up and then go out through the side of the basin, tying into this crazy looking Y that came with Pump Spy. So the Pump Spy came with these very very cheap uh, check valves they work um, if you look closely you can see it has an arrow it says you know water direction this way inch and a half is the diameter of the pipe and you can find these um, usually at Lowe's or Home Depot for about three dollars difference is the one you saw me put on to the Zoller 98 um, they're about 12 bucks and they work a lot better and of course there's even better check valves but this should work fine again this is a battery backup pump and it's not pushing that much water so I've already put that guy on we're gonna set him down in the pit next and then we'll make those connections our risers we call them risers because this is rising up from here coming over to the first hole and then from the little battery backup pump which will set right down there up and over again we'll have two check valves we'll make the connection and the pumps will be installed okay so we've got the pump spy little battery backup pump installed down here it comes up through here there's a check valve actually at the beginning of the of the pump there's a little port right there comes up rises up and then we use their adapter which is a goofy looking Y kind of offset things here but they're nice and secure use a couple no hubs We've got our, our Zoller, new Zoller M98. I'm getting ready to kick that on to see how well it works. Beautiful, looking pretty. Don't see any leaks at all, it looks really good. The water you saw spray out, remember I drilled a, a little pressure relief hole back there and it does spit out a little water, but that's supposed to happen so that it does not get air locked. So we're all set to go ahead and hook up the battery and the control box and go from there. Okay, so on this particular model of a battery backup system, you can see there's two little sensors here. One, I assume, is 
you know, to kick on the actual pump, and the other is like an alarm. And they are color coded. There's a red uh, clip in here, and then there's a green clip back there, and there's a white clip to power the pump. And basically, this just sits around. You know, we're going to clamp it onto the uh, to the riser, and as water comes up that high, it will trigger either the sensor to kick on the pump or to sound the alarm. Let's go ahead and put that on there. Okay, here's a quick review. Let's take a look. I just showed you some sensors. Let's start down there. These two little switches right here. One, this one's the lower one. So I would assume that as water level, say the power went out and water level rose to this point, it's just a, a float, comes on, it's a magnetic float. When that comes up, that kicks on, that tells the control box to turn on the pump okay this one is when the water level rises even higher it's going to send an alarm and this particular thing I guess it sends it you can send it to your phone and monitor the whole system from your phone as well it's kind of cool got to have internet connection um, you know battery backups like I say they don't push enough water in my opinion to be worth the four or five six hundred dollars that you spend for them but we're putting this one on and we hope that it works great hey this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something I guarantee you can do it have a great day